Hi there. I touched not too long ago on a video that addressed what a title state is versus a lien state, which if you haven't watched it sounds very confusing and strange, but it goes over why some states need attorneys to close real estate transactions and others only need title companies and they don't need attorneys. And it's important to have this basic background before I talk about this because I'm about to go into zombie homes and Zillow's pre foreclosures and why they are hit or miss and what to expect when it comes to them, especially in New York. So what's important to know, quick debrief about title state versus lien state. In a title state, the lender that you got your mortgage through is on your title. They're on the deed. So that's why in title states, they only need a title company to close that real estate sale because the lender is actually on the deed. They have the whole deed process in place and they use their title company to transfer the property and, and settle the property. Whereas in places like New York, we are a lien state where your mortgage is only a lien on your deed. You are the only, the owner is the only one on the deed, but the bank is a simple lien. So we need attorneys to make sure that that paperwork reflects that accordingly. We don't have title companies independently that can do the entire process. So it's important to know that because when it comes to foreclosures in New York, it's important to understand that when a property is foreclosed on, it can typically take three to five years before the bank gets the name of the person in New York who is on the deed off of the title and gets themselves from a simple lien holder to an owner on the deed to be able to sell the property. Three to five year process because of evictions, because of making sure that the foreclosure paperwork is handled accordingly and served accordingly. Back in 08, what happened is there was something called rubber stamping. When the 08 crisis came about and people were losing their houses left and right, banks were quickly hurrying through the foreclosure process and it was called rubber stamping. They were going too quickly and government officials and representatives and lawmakers required that the process take more time because they required that the banks give people more time to get through the foreclosure process because it is a long process. So as a result of that rubber stamping, which really rushed the foreclosure process and did a disservice to the owners of the house in the eyes of the lawmakers, now the process takes longer, three to five years to get through all the regulations that are required to properly foreclose at a property and to get the, the owner's name off of the deed and the bank's name on the deed so that they can now legally sell the property three to five years. So when you see a Zillow pre foreclosure, for example, or when you see a vacant home and it has a notice on it, when you see zombie homes and you see them sitting for three years, four years, and you're wondering what the heck is going on, when will this become available? And you call on it to find out. And we say, well, we don't know. And, but we see a bank that's attached to it and we call the bank and the bank defers us to the attorney and they keep deferring us to each other. It, it's because the bank is in, foreclosure limbo where they're basically unable to sell the property yet because their name is not officially on the deed because remember in New York, they're just a lien holder until their name, until they go through the whole foreclosure process and their name gets put on the deed and then they can sell it, which again takes three to five years. Now look at other states, which their title states, for example, for Connecticut, like Connecticut in that, in those title states, what happens is, the bank is an actual owner on the deed. So the, the foreclosure process is significantly faster because they do not have to go through an entire eviction foreclosure process of getting the person of getting the bank onto the title so that they can legally sell it. They have legal interest in the property. They are owners of the property. They are on the deed. So they have more rights to be able to move forward with a sale. So it oftentimes takes a lot less time in those title states because of the fact that they're already on the title, as opposed to having going, have to go in, have to go through the process of getting themselves on and getting the other individual off. So I hope that provides some clarity as to why you get so many mixed responses when it comes to pre foreclosures and why it can be confusing and why title states and lien states are so different when it comes to the use of an attorney versus a title company and how fast or slow that foreclosure process takes to the point where these properties can then get listed. I hope that helps. 
If you have any questions or if you'd like a better overview of this and you're interested in a foreclosed property, we always want to make sure that we give you the opportunity to find the house of your dreams, whether it's foreclosed or not. And we can absolutely help you through that. It, it can take time. It can take a little bit of work, but we're here to help any way we can. We hope you have a great day.